my friend Mark seems to be agonizing a little bit over whether he wants to switch to low G or stick to regular GCEA tuning on his ukulele. Well, I got a song for you, Mark. <laughs> and I also got a ukulele. First of all, let's talk about the ukulele. This is my Kala Mango. Has been my favorite ukulele over the years. I have not played it much since I have so many other ukuleles to play. But if I had just one, it'd probably be this one. This may be one of my last possessions. After I sell my house and everything else, I'll keep this. What a beautiful ukulele. Kala Mango. Very nice. I tuned it low G C E A. In fact, it came to me tuned low G C E A. I kept the tuning even after a string or two broke. But here's what it sounds like. First of all, anybody tuning low G C E A, make sure that you set your tuner for ukulele, not guitar, even if it is a baritone. It's a little me more mellow sound than the guitar, and it's a more mellow sound than the ukulele. So Mark, here's your song. If you're agonizing over low G, or just sticking with GCA, Can I? Should I? Will I? Dare I? Can I? Should I? Will I? Dare I? I really want to know what to do. Yes, I really want. My suggestion to people is if you've got a ukulele tuned G, C, E, A, work on that until you can play that. If you have a ukulele comes to you tuned D, G, B, E, work on that until you can play that pretty good. And then think about changing strings and changing tunings. I wouldn't fool around with changing tunings until I was pretty good with the tuning that the ukulele came to me playing. And that's my feeling on it because it can get pretty confusing when you keep switching around. Sometimes we tend to do that as a way of avoiding the actual work of getting into it and playing. I have suffered that myself. So that's the advice I give to people. If 
you can already play GCEA, then by all means try something new. <laughs> <laughs>